All right, and here we are for the fourth match. And if you do not recognize that username there, that is Sam Pardee, who is a... Uh, 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 he does videos for Channel Fireball. I'm not exactly sure which team he's on. I think he's on uh, Team Channel Fireball, but I really am just talking out of my keister right now. I have no idea. Uh, and I don't know why this video is on overdrive right now, but it is going quite fast. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't a great draw for us. I mean, a lava spike, uh, rift bolt, two lightning bolt sets, 12 points of burn, and the goblin guide's pretty good, but he's got, I mean, I've got to hold up, uh, some spells just in case he's got uh, the combo, which I think we were able to get there. Uh, it flashes in, oh, it electrolyzes, yeah, that'll do that. Um, so we get him down to four, yeah, and, oh, this is actually, this is another, this is another sideboard game. I don't know why they're putting these ones first. This is weird. It says game one. Uh, and uh, I believe this is the... I believe this is the third match. Because I remember, yep, I remember getting beat down with Vendillion Click and Teferi and and Eventual. Yeah, and he's got the he's got the negate here and he's able to pull it out. So this is actually the third game. Um, so, surprise, I lost to the professional. Um, but let's head over and watch game one and game two um, now that all, oh my god, is he or isn't he, is gone. Doobie doop 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 doo. Yeah, see, why does that, why does that say game one if it's not game one? Is this Maybe this is game one then. Let's let's go to game three. Uh, nope, this is game two. Okay, well let's just watch it backwards. Fine. Um. So I mean that's a great start. We had, this is actually a pretty awesome hand for us. Swift spear into lightning bolt. Uh, get that extra point of damage in. We got our opponent halfway dead on turn two. Um, we've got the Shard Valley. I'm going to Shard Valley, right? No. I'm going to Searing Blaze here. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, and everything just works out perfectly. And he concedes on turn three. So, I mean, that's really how you want this deck to run. Uh, just creature, creature, no removal for him. And he can get there. Um, and let's head over and watch the other game. Uh, I am not exactly sure, I don't remember exactly how this one ended, so this is going to be game two, which is actually game one. Uh, so I was on the play, so you'd expect me to win, but, uh, I mulled the four, that's why. I don't know, you guys can go back and pause those and look at the hands I had. Um, it's, it's not, it wasn't a great, uh, the, the, the seven wasn't great. I don't think it was horrible. Uh, it just wasn't good, so I mulled the six, and then it was like no land, no land, no land. Uh, and I mean, I'm just having to get in the damage where I can. I'm sure he's got the bolt here. Uh, or not. Or the Exarch. Uh, what I learned, actually, from that little move right there was I thought that the combat phase was a whole phase in and of itself. Um, I didn't realize that it was uh, a uh, like that the attack phase and the block phase and the damage phase were all separate phases that had uh, like their own mana pools. So I thought I could float the mana and then wait until he blocked the Deceiver Exarch, and then I could bolt the Deceiver Exarch, um, 
and have my goblin guide kill it, but I was completely and utterly wrong. Uh, so I learned something new from this match, which was nice. Uh, I thought it was like main phase, like combat phase, second main phase. I didn't realize it was main phase, begin combat, attack, block, damage, end combat, even though it says it right here. Even though it's all right there for you to see. So, uh, these all have their own mana pools, which I knew these ones did, and this one did, but I thought this was all one big mana pool. So, yeah, that's something to, uh, know, kitties. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this one is just, I mean, I'm mulled to four, and, I mean, uh, this one is this like turn five or six right here, and he's got Deceiver Exarch. Yeah, I mean that'll that'll get you. He's probably got like Spell Pierce backup or something as well. Uh, so, uh, I mean this was a great run by us, especially uh, that third game where your opponent just doesn't even show up. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's great to just not even have to play a card to win. Um, but uh, I always find it fun playing professionals. I've played uh, Andrew Boswell at an SEG event, um, and uh, it's always fun meeting some of these guys that you actually see on the broadcast and uh, uh, testing yourselves against them. Uh, and we were—I mean, you saw the third game. We got our—we got uh, Sam down to one. And just couldn't pull it out, uh, but I mean, that's the way the uh, cookie crumbles. I don't know. That was a horrible. I gotta hate when I say that, but I just get it from Bruce Almighty. It's just it's been in my stuck in my head for 15 years at this point. Um, anyway, uh, so that was my fourth. Uh, daily event, uh, three and zero, losing to Sam Party in the fourth match for undefeated and seven packs of Modern Masters. I mean, this was a fun. I don't know what was this like a Thursday or something. It was a fun Thursday. Uh, so uh, we will see you in the next daily, which should probably actually be going up real soon. Uh, so keep your eye out.